We're gonna go play, hey, hey. We're gonna go play, hey, hey. We're gonna go play, hey, hey. Good morning. We're so happy that you're here. We daily vlog. So if you like this video, come on back tomorrow. Jamesy and I are heading into his first official speech therapy appointment. <laughs> We found bumblebees. Flower. Purple flower. So cute. So I drove to Twisty Treat to get James something for his first day at speech. And he's asleep. Looks like mom's going through the trash here. Welcome to Sarah's Corner where she cooks the food of the day. What is I've that? never purchased this before. It's pickled ginger. Ooh. Okay. So, so we're making sushi rolls for dinner. Bum, bum, bum. Got some rice. We got our seaweed snack. Do you want it like mixed in, or do you want to be able to like take bites? I want it mixed in so I can just shovel. Shovel. Um, and then for our toppings, we have avocado, carrot, cucumber, the ginger, um, this little mayo sriracha number. We're gonna have some soy sauce. Oh, I feel like this is like a production, like this is your your work kitchen. And some seaweed. And that's, that's that. And Should, or the tofu. The tofu, yeah. Yeah. Should we install in that hole like uh, a holder for a camera so we can yes. easily film like oh, downward yeah. angle shots oh, or like no. shots like this so none of us have to carry it? Casey and I said we watched a little clip of him talking about how 9 out of 10 shots of his are static. So we're thinking about integrating a mini tripod like we used to have in every moment of our life. Every moment? Pretty much. Casey and I doing it, we're doing Yeah, and if we, we can add it to the list of the Father's Day chores. Sarah was asking about what we want to do for Father's Day, go out to eat, what do we want to do, what do we want to do. And I came up with a weird plan of like, hey, how about we go buy a ladder because we took, we there were two ladders at Sarah's parents' house, or Christine and Grant's house. And Grant was like, hey, you take one and we'll keep one. And I picked the nice, big, James, long, tall, orange seaweed? one, but he can't freestand. It's only a leaning one. So I need a freestanding one to do some certain things in this townhome. And I was like, Sarah, what if we just like get, we want to get two ceiling fans for our room and our loft. And what if we get those, get the ladders so I can install those as like Father's Day, like do all that day. So it's like, get those done, which I like. So it's like, but it's not like restful. And I'm like, but it's like, then our home is home enough. It's your day, we have to choose what we do. I'm hoping that we like get... Cover the kids while I'm doing all that. Yeah. Maybe still like get breakfast or dinner or something? Something. And then there's like, we're like I told, we told you guys before, we're gonna take this, this light down, and then replace it with like dome lights like that. Not dome lights, like whatever those lights are for that hole, that hole, and there's a hole over there too. So like there's a couple of like aesthetic things that we want to make this home even homier, cozier, make it more hooge. Anything. <laughs> Sarah just said, I've never used this before, and then she goes, you like this ginger, right? Wait, because when you get sushi, like... Oh, that's what it is? Yeah. Oh, I love that. Put a lot on there. Is it pickled? Oh, it is pickled, I guess, in the sushi. This looks, like, very vibrant. Very delicious. <gasps> oh. Looking. Teddy's snoozing. Here's the tofu. <laughs> tofu city, baked. Where are we going tonight? Magic Kingdom, but... We're, like, the true thing is a boat to Magic Kingdom. So yeah. we're gonna go to the resort. I don't know which resort, probably Polynesian, because we'll probably just park at TTC. Yeah, and then walk over. Here it is, all done up. The only thing I wish I had was like, tempura, like little crumbles on to a little, Ooh, little water crunch. <laughs> Best friends. <laughs> wow. 
it's these kind of fun moments when it's like, oh, it's been a tough week. I know I've got a tough, really two weeks ahead of me at work because of this project that's launching. And then you come out of the Polynesian on a Friday afternoon and watch your wife, your best friend, running around with your little best friend, running up to rocks, just having a good old time. <laughs> Hi, James. So I don't think we've even really done this since we've moved back. And not even a lot with the kids because we typically have our bigger stroller. We always end up like on the monorail. But I've been craving just like an easygoing Magic Kingdom resort, boat ride to the park, no expectations kind of day. And so today is our rest day. If you remember our little like schedule of productivity, rest, fun. So tonight's gonna be a restful night. Really best. We're happy. The kids are happy, right? <laughs> I mean, Even for like 10 I think minutes. we do our best. <laughs> I think we we just get up every morning and come to Rob. But then Peter's off like, out. I need to be at Epcot every second. It's been Disney World. It's been a while since we just came and said hello to partners. Hey, there's, there's a beverage area over here. Hold Peter? on, I have to get a beverage over here. Peter has never been over here before. And I'm a huge time fan. OG and newbie. Like, we haven't done the ride, but Peter really likes the movies. Yeah, and Daft Punk. Rainbow over Space Mountain. Um, this is insane. I didn't realize we could walk like underneath the superstructure. Oh, boys. Oh, we gotta come by here at night with this all up. I didn't realize you can go underneath it. Wow. Okay, got a little watermelon refresher from the little stand in Tron. I'm gonna take a sip. And it's so good. It tastes like Smarties, which are one of my favorite candies. And it's really just sugar. It is delicious. The boys are already ahead walking into, I was gonna say Toontown, storybook. I love that this path is open. We're gonna get the next cycle to go through because it looks so cool down here. Also, Sarah's back with the beverage. Wanna try? Take a drink. It's cold. Whoa. Wow, I'm a big fan of this Tomorrowland sign. That's a cool sign, isn't it? And I like the, the like matte look of the cement wall. Oh, and just like that, we're in Storybook Circus. It's crazy because like that walk used to feel so much further. Wow. But now like there was other stuff to see before. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Should we take James on Barnes? <laughs> I think we could, yeah. It doesn't look like a bad line. Guess who's tall enough for Barnstormer? Bum, bum, bum. We've been saying you've been having gross birds, baby. Whoa! He's like easily height ready. Oh my gosh, she's gonna be so exciting. I hope he likes it. James, this is about to be a roller coaster, your first roller coaster ever. It's a bit intense, but it's a lot of fun. And it's Goofy's ride. James, he was tall enough. What do you see up there? You see Dumbo? Um, so Peter and him are going on. I think they're on the next one. And we are right by the billboard of Goofy so we can see them on the ride. Get ready. They're in the last, <laughs> they're in the last 
last row. <laughs> Did you like that, James? I don't know, it might have been a little too uneasy the first time. Maybe he'll like grow to like it. Jamesy! James, how was it? Was it scary? <laughs> ah! Those monkeys are gonna get you. You gotta go? Okay. We've never been in this part. It was a very isolated, concentrated cell, oh, but okay. enough to soak us to the bones. <laughs> we were soaked to the bones. We hid out in the bathroom. And we he divided. Was so happy. He was like laughing and giggling, and we came into the bathroom. And there was people there, and I just thought it was but the no sweetest thing. Now the sky's literally opening. Like it's gonna be, it's over. It's right. like, that's Florida for you. And James was snacking on some peanut butter puffs. He's content. Yeah. We had a goal of leaving before fireworks. I think we need yeah. to stick to it because we have a busy weekend. Yeah. And we might watch the fireworks from. Right. Like Polynesian or Grand Floridian. Okay. Do you want to just finish the loop? Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> that funnel swirly swirl by the train. Train by the drain. <laughs> oh yeah. So it started raining. It started getting it picked up a little bit. Sarah wanted to go in the Christmas store. I was nervous about the AC. We're gonna mosey way out here, but man, I freaking love being here at Magic Kingdom. I love it. I love being in Disney World. <sighs> this is some good stuff. Sarah must have spotted something she liked. Let's go for a hot dog right now. I go for a I go for a hot dog right now for some reason. I mean you're from Chicago. I think it's in your blood to like be ready for a hot dog at any minute. <laughs> well, it's got some some health implications to deal with the rest of my life. I think. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Hopefully, their changes of clothes stay dry in the backpack. I have hope. I have every. I have, I believe. I believe. I believe. <laughs> I looked at the radio. I thought it was done. Here we are. But it's fun, right? Good morning. We're so glad you're here with Daily Vlogs. If you this video, make sure you come back every day. Out on a six mile run today and this casually flies over me. Wow.
We are at Hellcats on Orange Avenue. Our friend from Chicago, from Witchcraft, is here doing some chain stitching. So we're gonna say hi and look around. Whoa! A ghost! Are you gonna get a ghost candle? There are so many beautiful things here. Yeah? Pride flags. We'll have to show you everything we got. <laughs> All right, so here's everything we got. We got the flags. We got this deck of cards for Christina. Maybe we'll take some of the cards out and show later because one of the designers of Hellcats, Clark, he like designed the whole set. So we got these for Christina. She's a big Stranger Things fan. Peter got this set of playing cards, Mastermind brand. This was James could not leave without. We. We're gonna have to figure it out because it's gonna get hot in the car while we're in Universal. But anyways, he's been into ghosts and pumpkins. So there's that. And then here are patches that Jenna chain stitched for us. So the gravestones were a Hellcast Bitchcraft little crossover. So we got one for me, each of my sisters, and then Peter got Jim and Sue. And then we also got Eva little bandana with her name stitch on it. So fun. So nice to see Jenna. Such a cool shop. She's the coolest person I know. Is she? Like she's Yeah, like, she's definitely she's, up there. When I think of cool, hip, rad, scoundrel, awesome. And just kind and lovely and yeah. delightful. Like you would look at her and you're like You're the best. Yeah. You're what I aspire to be. Yeah. I want to be her. Yeah. Can we, can we both be her? Sure. We realized, thankfully, this is like the first time we've been bringing milk in a cooler with an ice pack because we are in the process of getting Teddy off of formula. We're mixing now formula with milk. And so we have a little cooler with an ice pack so the ghost will not melt while we're at Universal. That is our next stop. There is my old acupuncturist. I should go back. You should. Especially with like transfer. Yeah, Coming. on board. And we can get us an excuse to come over to this neighborhood. We love we it just here how much so we love much. It here. We just wish it was slightly closer to the theme parks. And we were like, well, what if we, when we buy something in Orlando, what if we buy over here? Because if I stay remote, I'm not done with I-4 traffic, we could go. Right, it's like less of times. a to-do. It was just like, it was so nice that we lived here during like the, like the thick of it, yeah. in the thick of the pandemic. It was nice that like we lived far away this far from Disney then because we couldn't go to Disney anyways and so I know we were able to like fall in love with this area and it's just really it's lovely more vibe. it's more neighborhoodly it's like very inclusive and like I just like I mean we're city people so it just feels like good to be over here it gives, yeah. the small businesses like it gives me Wrigleyville vibes a little yeah. bit not city not like what pe most people when you guys are watching us and we say city you're probably thinking like the downtown metro Mm -hmm. Like we think when we say that we do mean that but we also mean like our old Wrigley Mall neighborhood Right like where there's like still the hustle and bustle of like public transportation and like yeah. Businesses and things of that nature but maybe like but it doesn't have to be in like the middle of the like Skyscrapers Yeah skyscrapers or downtown like we don't have to live in a high rise but like there are so many like like this is an older area of Orlando, some beautiful houses, like historic district. I don't know. Mr. I think, Rogers' parents lived here. Yeah, I think I think we can make it worth it, especially because before we were comparing it to like our life without children and like I don't know. I think we we talked about it a lot in the live stream today, um, just like how we kind of are in this like changing moment of our life. We're just figuring figuring stuff out. I, 
We know what we like. We comments. know what we love. <laughs> right. That like we just moved two months ago. We're not trying to move anytime soon, guys. No. This is like five year, ten year plan that you guys are hearing me and Sarah regurgitate our minds through. Yeah. But it is nice. Mr. Rogers. Who doesn't like Mr. Rogers? No way. One of my favorite things about City Walk is how they do the re replays of movies. And look, they have all this Jurassic Park 30th anniversary. And look, they've got the creator of Jurassic Park himself here. What? That's incredible. I love that. And the car's out? Oh, yes. So we became a new attraction at Universal. We stopped in the shade right outside the movie theater to put our sunblock on for us and the kids. Yeah. But we are like, it's hard to find a healthy sunblock that's not full of chemicals, that's not going to poison the environment or give us... Make you look like this. Right. But... <laughs> it's worth it. It's worth it to look a little do, ghostly. I feel like sometimes we're like, throw like whatever sunscreen we can find in our bag and then we realize like... Oh, we didn't yeah. grab the good stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be... Ghostly but today. it's worth it to, uh, to prevent some skin cancer, right? Absolutely. We know some people who have died from it. Yeah, yeah, some random people. <laughs> um, we're gonna go into Universal first. Check out Minions, um, and that's like we're maybe thinking about me waiting for Velocicoaster. Yeah. We're being so hopeful that I will be expecting a baby soon, so it's like knock out those um, like rides I won't be able to go on. So. No expectations. Yeah. Those silly guys. So apparently, this is going to be Minion Land. This one, Bill and Con, and then the restaurant. The boy found another home in Universal. Who would have thought? You see the minions over there? We got to get you like. <gasps> Ready to wear sunglasses or a hat. Yeah, let's go see if you're tall enough. Yeah, it's more minions. Um, we went to go see if James was tall enough and he wasn't. But a counselor came up and was like, hey, we have a stationary version. So all of us, including Teddy, can go on stationary. Oh, and we got to skip the whole line. I don't know if that's normal or not. I don't know if that was like a magical I think it was. James is gonna love this. One moment. Mm -hmm. This is good. But tell the Mario, add more dynamite. I want a bigger boom. Okay. You didn't hear that. Anyway. Wow, that was so cool. James, did you like it? How cool. Woo! Well, if you guys didn't know. James is a huge Illuminations fan. Yeah, the Illumination. Illumination. Oh. That was super cool how the front row yeah. was stationary. We didn't get to like bounce around yeah. or like have but the... I'd rather that. I was actually very happy too that it wasn't 3D. Yeah. Because we were like really close. And James needs to practice wearing the glasses. We realized that... Oh, <laughs> There's a store across the way that's opened up. That's the new store we gotta check out with Scarlet Overkill right outside. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I like how they're, they're minion versions of the villains from the different movies. He's loving it. idea that this was what this was gonna be what these walls were for I knew the restaurant was gonna get switched but not to this level yeah guys work arts are pumped the kids love minions and all that like they're so fun the different shops the different lives in the restaurant oh. Can't wait. we have not been in a Central Florida theme park peak heat it's two o'clock in a while it feels also, good though. like, it's June, like, yeah. we're really getting into the summer months. It's fun because this feel, this is like a nostalgic feeling for me because this is the time, this week would literally be the week we'd be arriving this weekend and then we'd be here through Father's Day. We would always come for Father's Day. And so, this is like, <laughs> makes me feel like I'm on vacation. It's nice that I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to go hide in 
Diagon Alley. We always say diet. We always say Diagon Alley. Diagon Alley. We always say it like that. It's like felt your like urge to say it like that, and then you try not to. Say it. Yes. So I'm gonna catch some feels. Maybe there's some performances. What are those? The, the story called? Ooh, James Dunn with the snack. Tales of Beetle the Bard. Yes. We strolled up right at two o'clock. Right when the show is starting. Took a wrong turn somewhere, but it is awfully cooler in this creepy alley. We're Thank back by the stage. Visiting wireless network. Celestina and Warbeck now, and the Banshees. Miserable. So I'm at least gonna ride this today. The intention was Velocicoaster. This is one of my favorite rides, so um, this will be a good one to get off the list. Okay, we got Scooby Doo out and Shaggy. But look, they have a Jurassic Park 30th anniversary tribute store. I forgot they moved the uh, annual pass holder lounge to Islands of Adventure. I was gonna take the boys in because Teddy Snooze and James hopefully fall asleep while Sarah's on Mummy. So I guess we'll go check out the Jurassic Park store. Wow. I didn't realize this was out. Jamesy, look, it's a dinosaur. This is making like little kid Peter's heart patter right now. Ugh. Wow. That is so cool. See the dinosaur, James? Oh, look at the Mr. DNAs. <gasps> I think I need this cup for Father's Day. <gasps> so cool. Are you kidding me? This is so cool. I don't remember the last time I was on it, but I don't know the last time I was especially in the front row and like all the smoke and stuff is like right in your face when you're in the front row. It was spectacular and now we are going back to see the dinos because this little one was asleep and he's our resident dino lover right now. <sighs> Is that a dinosaur? Oh no, he's gonna get you! Oh no! Oh no, he's gonna get you! Oh no, it's gonna get you! Go, Jamesy, go! Get him! shot I tried to get the last time that we came to Typhoon Lagoon. Spoiler. 
very surprise trick. Both kids are sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> it's 3.30. Good afternoon. We're so happy you're here. <laughs> Daily vlog. Enjoy this video. Make sure to come back every day. Mm-hmm. I've had Sunday. sort of a, a slower Sunday. Yeah, okay, so the Sunday blues. Uh-huh. So we decided to relax. And now spend the last couple hours that Typhoon Lagoon is open. Here, sun's not too intense. Now we're gonna go to Disney Springs. All right, both kids ended up waking up as we... That's good. Yeah, it's good. They got a little rest before going to the water park. Mm -hmm. Gonna go straight to the Lazy River. Straight to the Lazy River. We've not even been outside today. <laughs> it's so hot that I'm already like, get me to that pool. I know. Welcome to Typhoon Lagoon, wave conditions, surf sub. Kids are gonna be so pumped when they realize that we're here. James is gonna be smiling ear from ear when he gets his life jacket on. We've already got him some blocked up and Teddy and me. Sarah's mostly just gotta get some shoulder areas and we're gonna be in the water. I'm gonna show James the lookout spot. You wanna go in there? All right, after about two or three loops around the uh, old Lazy River, the kids were we're gonna let them play. We got a little less than an hour left at park time. And we're gonna get these sippers because the Earhearts want them. So we're gonna get them, we get to enjoy them now and give them the sippers. We got two Typhoon Tilly sippers for the Earhearts basement beautiful bar. And got them at Leaning Palms. Okay. Boom. Okay, bye bye, James. Bye bye. And with that, our nice little little over two hour adventure at Typhoon Ooh, Lagoon. Perfect. The wave pool we went in after we played in the sand was such a hit. Yeah, like we're going to be spending, I just didn't think the kids were about it. Right, and we also like had never handled children and it was like much more manageable than I thought it was. We I thought it was going to be really overwhelming. didn't go to the line of adventure. <laughs> I thought you were going when you and him started going far out, but James loved it. Yeah, we spent like a what, hour? In the Lazy River. Yeah, it was like fabulous. 20 minutes. We didn't even go in like the, the splashy area. Right, and then I'm like another 40 minutes in the wave pool. That was great. Our first stop. Gotta be Sugar Boo. Love it. Nothing gets you in a vacation mood than going into the World of Disney on the weekend. Love the rainbow. Assuming that's for pride, and we always dig this Disney 100 display whole section. I was taken aback by this Finding Nemo storyboard, but then Sarah's like, hey look, it's all the new Periodic Park Elemental City for the new movie coming out. I'm jazzed about it, I'm excited. Sarah's less excited about it than I am. It's giving me, what's that movie that was about the white blood cell who was the cop? It was a cartoon like in the... Or a movie in like the late 90s, Osmosis Jones. Oh, yeah. That's what it's giving me, it's those vibes. a lot of Inside Out, and I just I like things to be like totally different, but I gotta see it before I have my true opinion. Yeah. No. We, have, no. we have a problem. So when did this no. Tommy Hilfiger like, set come out? Look at the sweaters, this dress. Sarah's contemplating not getting a holiday sandwich. I'm I'm getting the turkey, really apple, like and brie. Like fancy, like seasonal sandwiches. But I mean, I typically do go back to the house. James, he's playing so cute with his new little Beauty and the Beast PVC set. We got some mac and cheese for the boys, the holiday turkey sandwich, and here is the turkey apple brie sandwich. Look at the beautifulness. Just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. If you hear a dinosaur in the background, it's James. Please don't worry about us. So, uh, we're the Brookhearts. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> this is 17 months later. Basically, it feels like it. This vlog has Friday in it. And when was the last time we vlogged? Was it Saturday or was it Sunday? Sunday. Sunday. Wow, that was only three days ago. So we're looking great. It's it's Thursday. But anyways, it's, today doesn't count. Take the words of Rafiki. It does. 
doesn't matter. It's in the past. <laughs> We're doing our best. <laughs> Peter was in the office uh, this week. My company, we went through a massive data environment change. So it's been super busy for me this week. Yes. I was in the office. Yes, and I mean, gratitude to our like situation. We're so like happy with Peter working remote and our family's dynamic and but we just were thrown for a loop when our life changed. In addition, I also had probably the worst migraine I've had in a couple of years. A couple of years. Um six, like it was just it was just really it was next level. And so just like the timing of that was not good either. And so we've had a week. But now you're back working at home. Kind of like caught back up and grocery shopped and yes, a new book. going to Epcot tonight. All those <laughs> and I'm gonna get this vlog live um, right now. very soon, very soon. Hopefully before um, Teddy wakes up in this night. So thanks for <laughs> enduring. <laughs> yeah, it's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me. It's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.